Hello everybody, in this After Effects tutorial we're gonna look at how to place text behind certain objects like in this case we have a nice landscape view and we have a foreground where a woman is walking towards this vehicle. So the first step would be to separate the foreground from the background and to do that let's duplicate this layer first and hide the second layer. Let's also rename this background and foreground. Now let's select this tool here, which is known as the rotoscoping tool. Let's double click on the foreground layer. And that opens up another viewer here on the left. And the cursor is green, which means you have selected the rotoscoping tool. And this tool basically works like the quick selection tool in Photoshop. You can click and drag and select these objects which you want to keep and on your right you can see a live preview of the result that you'll get so take your time to refine this also if you get a spill like this you can hold alt or option and click on the areas that you wish to deselect and then continue the process so uh, it's pretty straightforward you just have to select these parts and if you have some specific areas like hair or something like that, you have a more refined version of the roto brush that you can use. So I'm just going to use that on this hair part. You don't really have to use it unless it's up close, but I'm just going to use it here. And then once you're done, you can hit spacebar to preview how the rotoscoping is going. And you can pause anytime and refine this. Uh, when new parts of the vehicle, let's say, is revealed, I can add that in. But, you know, for the most part, it does a pretty good job to include everything. Okay, so I think it's doing a pretty decent job. So I'm just going to hit freeze here, which is sort of going to bake in the rotoscoping. And depending on your PC, this might take a while. So I'm just going to forward this. And once you're done, you can close this viewer and now you're back on the old viewer. On the left in the effect control panel, you have the option to refine the edges. You can feather it and adjust the smoothness and you can even shift the edges. So take some time to refine that. And once you're done, you can add in your text and enable the background and you can place the text right in between the foreground and the background layer. You can also animate the position of the text to have it come in from the top. And I'm also going to reduce the opacity a little bit. And you can easy ease that. All right, so that's basically it, but you can add a few more touches to make it look really good. And for that, let's duplicate the foreground and solo it so that we can see what's happening. Let's apply a fast box blur and increase the value. Let's also shift the edges outwards. Now we're going to use this as track mat, so let's toggle modes and select the foreground too as track mat and invert it. And that sort of gives us more depth on these edges a little bit. And now let's try previewing this. Now you can add all sorts of effects on this text, like maybe a gradient, change the colors or change the font, add new text and all that or change the blending modes. So I hope this helped. If it did, please do leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.